What's going on, guys? It's your boy Project That's Man. I'm bringing you another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Last time we left off, we beat Tane and his Zekrom um, with the armor. We went through the routes and managed to get to Kepler City, I believe this is. So now we're going to the Safari Zone. I'm going to see if I can find that item that guy was talking about. That item in the desert. I think this is the way to get to it. So yeah, let's let's see what we let's see if we can make it. If we can pull it off. He said it was in a desert portion. Oh If you guys didn't know, this, um, of course you'd know. My mascot is Sneasel. But I'll live with a Weavile. I can use it. And of course, of course, gotta call an Iceman. Alright, so this is the desert area. This desert is my favorite place to look for new Pokemon. There's so many cool ones. Wow, a Diggersby. Eh, why not? Think of a nickname for it now. Maybe in a maybe in the future. Okay. What I would do to get a... What you call it right now? A um, item finder. Is there more than one desert area? Perhaps? The survival zone needs to be completely flooded. Back then, tunnels were dug underground that could get you many, to many different places. There used to be one near here, one near here that took you to a far off land. I'd love to explore it. A tunnel, huh? Are you going to challenge Diana in Saline City? If you are, look for a dark type around here. With her team typing, that'll definitely help you out. <laughs> and I just caught a weave out. If you look carefully around here, you can find Pokemon you can't find anywhere else. Well, except for the friends so far, but that doesn't matter for people like me. You need to have friends for that. Oh. Well, that's pretty sad. <laughs> Sand Slash. I've been fishing around for rare Pokemon. I sure hope I find some. It's just a uh, lake.
I didn't find it. Let's give it one more go. If it doesn't work out, then uh... Okay. And Mega, not interested. Okay, I know I am now. I just thought it was odd that this little patch of island would... Waterfall, huh? Wow, that was quick. No luck, huh? Guess it's harder to find than I thought. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Because I'm definitely using that Weavile. Like, I have to. <laughs> it's a staple of mine. Alright, so who should I switch? We have a Dark Ice type. I have two Electric types, so let's get the Weezing out. It was fun, Weezing. If I find a Larvitar here. Ooh! Oh, how tempted I am to use that thing. How many times have you seen a Rampardus be used in a Let's Play? And well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Blue Sky. Yeah, if I find a Larvitar here or a Pupitar or one of the one of them in the evolution line, then I'm gonna have to uh, change my whole plan up.
Nothing. Okay. Ah. Cool. We have another one. Another healer. Listen. Ah. Uh, I don't have time for a battle. Let's just get this over with. Golem. Hit him with the Aqua Tail. Ah, sturdy. Of course you explode! You really didn't have time for this battle. I have to put, go back to the center. You can just talk to this person. Alright, let's, uh, get Iceman in. Oh, what item are you holding? A Grip Claw. Okay. <sighs> Timid. Uh, well, I guess, I guess that could work. Night Slash, Snatch, Punishment, Dark Pulse. Very dark. A lot of dark type moves. Do I have any ice types? I have frost breath. I guess I could teach Aerial Ace. I get rid of Dark Pulse. And as for Grip Claw, it doesn't really need a Grip Claw. Grip Claw is uh, for moves like rap and stuff like that. So let's see. We'll give it the lucky egg for now. What Pokemon can I find here? Ooh, a Hunch Girl. If only I had Ice type moves. Is there a Mover Laner anywhere around here? Once again, if only I had Ice moves. nothing really in that water. My girlfriend broke up with me and my feet really hurt. I'm having a really bad day. Oh. Uh, this is a bad matchup. Unless you have knockoff, this is a good play. Oh, nasty plot, so you're special. Oh! Oh, I was tricked! You tricked me! <laughs> I 
Oh, Lunar Cannon! A Dark type move. Interesting. It's a Toon Toad attack. But I guess that with, um, when it's Nocturne, it doesn't require two turns. Why on earth would you battle me, jerk? <laughs> hmm, yeah, that should be good. And Arceus did banish Giratina to the Death of Distortion World, never to return. That's from Mew25-2. I'm so glad we have things like the Argo to and Arceus to protect us. I don't know where I'd, I would be without them. <laughs> hey, Slash. Gorgeous. No poison types, no steel types. Oh, you have pedal dance. Wow. My luck. Nice special defense drop. It's about to he's about to get confused. Perfect. I really hope it's all true. Nice social ball, nice. And I have saw. Hmm. The forest makes me really makes me nervous. It's really hard to see and navigate. Whoa! Let's go to Ayers. I may have to change my mind about the of uh, the Weavile. His moveset's just not cutting it. Death destroyed. Bye.
You seem to get around fine. What's your secret? <laughs> it's Game Dog's favorite move. Or at least the move he likes he would he wishes to finish people off with. The final boss, I should say. But yeah, I might have to change my mind about this Weavile. His moveset's just not cutting it. He can't really do much. Maybe once I get more TMs. If he had at least Ice Punch, then he, he'd probably be more tolerable. I could take Weezing back, but that's not really going to help me much. But you know what? I'll do that in the meantime until I get another good Pokemon. I'll probably try and find a Tyranitar again. Let's go back and move on, shall we? I want to at least make it to the next city. Oh, so I guess these are shortcuts. If I wanted to avoid facing against trainers. Have you ever considered joining the Rangers? We're a pretty cool group, and we're accepting new members. Scholopede. Of course you talk to me. Scrafty. I'm glad you're not intimidating Scrafty. You're probably Moxie. Never mind. You definitely can. Please, please join. Let's see if I could get to that. Um... Yeah, okay. There we go. What's here? I don't have anything like strength or um, what you call it. If I remember, um, 
bulldoze could move it. Oh man, okay. I might have to get Rody Kaz to move that. Bulldoze Earthquake, um, Strength. So I might have to do that at a later time. I am the greatest. My battles are a work of art. Observe! I'd rather not die. Oh, what beautiful artistry. We got a pretty strong breed drill around here. It's so beautiful here in the forest. Everything is so natural and nice. Oops! Sorry if you meant it, if you guys saw that. Go, go. That did a pretty good chunk. Wow, he lived. That's a wonderful place to be. Don't know why she didn't appear for me. Ooh, a Sableye. Hikari Town. Alright, let's check out this sound while we're here. Hakata Town is a pretty small one, and we're pretty new. It was made a few years ago to help travelers go from Nazca to Saline City, but after a few years we developed our own culture, beyond just an outpost. A lot of research here goes into how we can help use the talents of Pokemon to help the human race, primarily the eerie talents of ghosts and psychic types. Can you imagine what we could accomplish if we harness that? No way, those little glowing orbs can't hurt you. Hakata Town is actually spread into multiple clearings in the forest. Those those portals will take you from one part of the town to another. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Something to do with the move teleport, maybe. It's a kind of be cool though. Fiery Cave is one of the town's popular hotspots, but ever since those cultists arrived, nobody's been allowed in. I wish someone would head out in and clear them all out. We trainers have to look out for each other, yeah? Take these. I hope they'll help you out somehow. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, you're so nice. Thank you. I originally came to Hikari Town to try to make my own fortune, but while I'm getting old, I committed myself to making a better way for my children instead. A society grows great when old men plant the trees which, whose shade they know sh they shall not sit in. I brought these TMs at the store, but I don't really have a use for it. You look like a trainer. Why don't you have it instead? Ooh! Goodbye, close combat. 
I work in the fiery cave mine in the middle of the town. It's hard work, but we can find plenty of valuable minerals, ranging from rubies to firestones. Hey, welcome to Akari Town. It's always nice to see a new face around these parts. Not many people come by. That's because this town has a bad reputation with what with all the magic stuff happening around here. People don't like it, not at all. Have you ever been in the library in Utsuira Town? I'm not sure what it is exactly, but something about it gives me the major creeps. The paintings always look like they're watching me. You should always check the basements of Pokemon centers to check for new shipments of clothes. I just looked and there was a great dress for sale I'd never seen before. Bone Bone. As long as the Infernal Cultists are here, I can't work. I don't dare fighting them. The cave is already dangerous enough as it is. Man, this is a tough situation. I wish I were a strong trainer. As long as those Infernal Cultists are here- oh. So I'm guessing this is the cave you're talking about? Yeah. So I'll go there later. I'll check out the rest of the city first. Pokebus guy. I've been hearing rumors of Delta species Pokemon over in Merc Forest. I wonder what it could be. I've always wanted to see one of those. Could you imagine what, how neat it could be? Would you be interested in trading Pokemon with me? Say, my hunter for your Machoke? Huh? This video has a strange color. Did you know that the Torn region used to be at war with Kanto? Torn ended up being the victor, but it was at no small cost for either side. War really is a tragedy. Fun fact, we don't actually grow any food here in the county town. We try and use the abilities of Pokemon to make it for us. If you give me two, $2,500, I'll give you an egg. Sure. I need to hatch those things, actually. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Whenever I get the chance, I like to catch up on battling Pokemon on my TV. I remember watching London, one of Torn's Elite Four, beating a really powerful opponent without having a Scringle Pokemon faint. That was the day I decided to become a trainer. I'd be happy if I could be half as skilled as London is. My parents moved us to Akeda Town last week for a change of scenery. That and the houses are really, really cheap. Not anyone, not everyone wants to live here or in Selene because of the bad taboo magic has around it. The Inferno Gold to mostly use this fire and rock type Pokemon. It seems to me that a strong water or ground type sweeps through their teams, but I wouldn't be too sure. Oh, another one! Nice. One lucky egg. Ah, ah, ah. Two lucky eggs. Ah, ah, ah. Excuse me, young trainer. You can't leave yet. We need the help of a trainer such as you. The cultists, they're here in the chaotic town. We need your help to get rid of them so we can live safely. Okay, so we're back here. Alright, so while we're here... Amplify is a really interesting ability though. Now I'm interested to find other hidden abilities for um, Megas uh, or Delta Pokemon.
Wait. Doesn't bulldoze or an earthquake move? Well, I guess not. Well, if that's the case. Well, Alright then, guys. I'll end the episode off right here. The next time, um, I'll make some changes, and you'll probably see me with a, a different team, and some TMs, because I'm trying to get some TMs uh, from the um, game corner. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later.